What's been your problem with uh, the former policeman, now Sting promoter, Isaiah Allen? Well, the problem is really this, you know, from we had a dialogue a few months ago about Sting, and I decided that I wasn't going to do Sting because I was owed some money from last year, one. And I had already had plans to do a show abroad, you know what I mean? But then Corey and myself, which is my business manager, business partner also, decided that we were going to keep our own show in the building, you know what I mean? And The building is at the um, former, former asylum. asylum. Yes, yeah, so... In New Kingston. In New Kingston. So, um... We had dialogue and I decided I wasn't going to do the show, you know what I mean? So, ever since then he was telling, calling other people and saying that who oh, Vice Cartel think him is and me can't fight the state, you know what I mean? Cause the said, state? Yeah, because I, I didn't know the state he was keeping any show. those words, the yeah, state? Yeah, he used those words, those exact words, that me can't fight the state, you know what I mean? So, then we had a show in Sri Lanka where it was raided. You know what I mean? Vice Cartel wasn't there because I heard about it beforehand. You know what I mean? And I wasn't there. Then he came to the club. I when think, was that show in Trelawney? I think it was the 18th, you know. The of? 18th of December. Uh -huh. Yeah, because before that we decided that we weren't going to do it. And the, that is when the threat started. You know what I mean? Back up a little. Tell me. Uh, you said he owed you from last year's from performance, last year performance thing, December yeah. 2009. Nine last year. How yeah. much does he owe you? $500,000. $500,000? Yeah. And what has he been saying to you in terms tell of... Tell the God truth, because I mean, right now I'm just attacking you know, him. Even tell my manager, say, if I start telling him, say, bad man will pay about money. Are you, know you know serious? I mean? It's dead serious. He told your manager that? Yeah, man, him tell my manager those exact words, man. You oh. know what I mean? And when me hear that now, I start looking to it and say, all right, well, I'm not do thing then. See, so that is the real reason why I'm a seminar this thing. If I don't get X amount of money, because people have been speculating why I'm charging so much money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Anyway, go on and on. And That's as a million you were charging for this year? Three, I'm telling you now. Three million? Yeah, because for even the pride of it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I tell him three million dollars. And but you weren't serious about three million? No, if me get my, yeah, if I get my money from last year, we could have negotiated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But so you were prepared to negotiate down? Yeah, man. Because I sting that, that yeah. the animal show. So, anyway, the negotiation fell through or whatever. And that was when the real trouble started, you know what I mean, with this system of raids and stuff like that. So, he came to the building nightclub on Thursday. I think that was, what, the, 20, the 23rd, I think, or the 24th. One of those days. It, well, it was a Thursday, though. So That would have been Thursday because Saturday yeah. was the 25th. 25th right. Yeah, so it was the 23rd. Yeah. So... When he came to the building, you know, my business partner, Corey Todd, um, because he said something in the, in the media that Vice Cartel and my father can't pull a thousand people. So to come in the building that night was a thousand dollars. So he came to the building and wanted to come in. Who, Leng? Yeah. So Corey Todd said, no, man, yes, a Vice Cartel can't pull a thousand people. So pay a thousand dollars then. You know what I mean? And him looked on Corey and him exact words was, hey, boy, you know who me is. You don't come from Jamaica. That's what he said to Corey, because Corey is an American, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Corey said, Me not you know, if him talking a film American style, basically saying he don't respond. Mm -hmm. So, then went away and... A few, what was the price to going by? A thousand dollars. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Corey said, you say my DJ can't can pull a thousand people, so I'll pay a thousand dollars to come in. So him said, Corey, you know who me is, whatever, whatever. And he left, and see him later that night, the club was raided. You know what I mean? By? By police and the people. In uniform? Yeah, man. People were disrespected and crazy things happened. You know what I mean? And all fingers pointing to that person because, you know, this is Jamaica and we have our ears in the streets and, you know, people will talk things. You know what I mean? And people tell But it doesn't people. necessarily mean that those things are true. No, right? But we can speculate and, and we hear things from even people who are police also. Yes. Not necessarily top ranking police, but you know what I mean? Foot soldiers in the streets uh -huh. and stuff like that. So the club was raided Thursday. His remark was that no. What time was that raid on Thursday night? About an hour after he left. How many policemen raided the building? Well, I was on my way there, you know. So when I reached. I knew that the building was being raided. I left. When I went outside, it was about... Because I parked around the back. So when I left outside, I saw, like, about five police around the back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Them all us at gunpoint, search us. Including you? Yeah, man. Search me and thing and let me go and thing. Uh -huh. And then... What did they ask you, though? They didn't ask me anything. You know what I mean? They just dragged me in a car and searched me. Searched up my pocket, searched my vehicle, and, and my drive away. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that was the end of the operation? That was the end of it. You know what I mean? And then this boxing night now, because he called my, as a matter of fact, he called my manager again, you know, Dennis, you know, and told him that, listen to me. He who called your manager? Leng again, you know, and said, listen to me, no show can keep boxing day, but theme show. You know what I mean? He even asked man, my manager if we couldn't, if we, if we take off the ads, because we had a commercial running on Zip, if so, we could take off a commercial. Yeah, man, so it's like it's a whole intimidation thing. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. may I tell you the God truth refuse me. Don't think even the commissioner or the really high ranking police them know what really take place. May I tell you the truth from my heart. You know well, I mean? let me ask you this because we have been in touch with an assistant commissioner of police, Les Green. Yeah. I've also been in touch with the director of communications for the force, Carl Angel. Mm-hmm. And both of them made the following points to me. One, mm-hmm. there should be no reason for your, your show or anybody's show to be harassed mm-hmm. if you were given a, a valid permit which we were you have a valid permit yeah, for man. all the shows all that you have shows. been harassed all the shows mr you including the boxing night show including the boxing night show and the make the good on on monday night yes sir every we have permit for everything oh. because, because it's a nightclub you know so we have one permit that we can keep any event in the club because remember it is an indoor thing so the nice abatement that everything is all the only condition is that the club over by four o'clock Four o'clock or two o'clock? Four, because as I said, it's indoors. Oh, if it's indoors, it's four. four. If it's outdoors, too. Yeah. Uh huh. Because of the liquor, liquor at the stop cell, 4 a.m., and plus it clear up the traffic off the road as people can go about commuting in the morning. Yes. So I'm, I've also been told, I don't know how true this is, mm-hmm. that the police who raided the building mm-hmm. on Boxing Night mm-hmm. said they did so mm-hmm. because the line mm-hmm. of people, patrons waiting to enter the building, mm-hmm. had extended as far south as Emancipation Park. Is that true? Well, the line wasn't really at Emancipation Park, you know, but you have to remember, the line was truthfully around the corner by quad. Because, okay. you know, Vice Cartel wasn't that thing. So all, most Gaza people in the city is going to come to this show. Yes. You know what I mean? But So the question, therefore, is mm-hmm. was the, the building already at capacity and uh, more? No, it wasn't at capacity, you know, because it can hold about 2,000 people. And to tell you the truth, a so lot at the time when they mm-hmm. arrived, what time was that on boxing? Very night? early, you know, it was like 11.30. 11.30? I swear to you, about 11.30. And you had started at what time? The club opened 10 o'clock. People were still paying to come inside. So the, the club wasn't full? No, it wasn't. People were still paying to come inside. Albeit the line was long and a lot of people were outside. So what did they do when they got there? Well, you know, the usual style, rough up a few people, run with the people them off at the front, lock off the music inside the club, search everybody. You know what I mean? And send them home. Approximately how many policemen were involved in that operation? Well, I didn't know it. I wasn't there, you know. Yeah. Because by the time I reached, I saw Trafalgar Road. Not Ford Boulevard, but Trafalgar Road Block. Mm-hmm. So I just spin around and just head back home. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so I, who gave you this information that you are relaying to me now? Well, you know, because remember, this is Jamaica, and I have a lot of police friends. So they're telling me that when I was on my way, they said, oh, they reached at the club. I said, no, them say, I pay police out there, so nobody come. Can it mash oh. up? I mean, them said the club mash up and people get in search and stuff like that. So, that was that. And they came back again the next night. So you had another show the next yeah, night? Yeah, which was the spillover because mm-hmm. of the, the incident where... Because Vibes Carter was built to perform and I didn't perform. So yeah. we said, alright, we're going to have a spillover mm-hmm. into the Monday night, which would be a holiday also. Yeah. Which would be the original Boxing Day. So, they came the same thing again, read the club, lock off the music, search a few people. And on what, on what basis did they say they were searching or locking off the music? What was the reason they gave? They said that they heard that Wanted Man was in the club. But what I'm saying, we've been running the club for one year now. We meaning who? Me, Corey Tad and myself. Been managing the club for one year now and we haven't had any raids or anything like that. And it's the same patrons always come to the club, mm-hmm. which would be dancehall supporters. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so they didn't say you didn't have a permit? No. No, you were breaching anything? No. Just that it, they su- suspected wanted men in the building? Yeah, they were acting on intelligence. But then again, my friend now, Carl, my friend which is a liar, which will remain a name, Carl, the same person, and his comments were over the phone, because we was listening, his comments over the phone was, the boy cartel this me you know what i mean so everything is just coming from one person who is trying to use who said that leng himself oh just trying to use his influence to try to say him one box food out of my mouth you know oh. what i mean and anyway because vice, he didn't perform at sting. at sting and anyway vice cartel will be they will be terrorizing it 
You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with Monday night. I have my police friends. So they call me and say, where you are? I say, I'm going to reach at the club. They say, don't come. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because police is going to be there. This is the third time, you know. The fourth time, actually. They did it at Trelawney. Me get the news. I didn't show. Them did it at um, Thursday night, the 23rd. They did it the boxing night, and they did it the 27th. You know what I mean? And I even hear things that, like, they're calling down in Mobia because I was showing Mobia the 31st. That's tomorrow night. That's tomorrow night, and...